Hey guys, welcome to a vlog on the brand new Sony ZV-E10. I'm gonna be talking a little bit more about this. Right now we are in the desert and we are filming a video with the new 2021 Ford Bronco. This thing is so awesome. This camera is really great for people who are looking for a vlogging camera, but not quite just a simple point and shoot. You want to have something that you can have interchangeable lenses. You want 4K, you want that beautiful bokeh, and you want a camera that is not super crazy expensive. This could potentially be the one for you. Let's check it out. You could because the body starts at $699.99 and $799.99 with the kit lens, 16 to 50 millimeter. So here's full zoom. Here is all the way out, 16 mil. So you might notice that this has this lovely rainbow windscreen here. This actually does come with a white one, but me and my sister have been using this camera and flying across the United States, and we have sort of misplaced it. I love the flip-up screen, and this is very similar to the A7S III, and it has this big red record button on some of the larger mirrorless cameras. They're really small, and they're in like weird locations, so it's really hard to hit. And it also has this cool feature when you are recording. The screen right here actually has a red ring around it, so you'll always know if you're recording. If that's not enough, there's a red light directly on the front of this, just to make sure that you know if you're recording or when you're not. It does have a dedicated button to switch between the modes. You can switch between photo, video, and S&Q. And with S&Q, you can quickly change those settings to be either slow-mo or do like one frame a second, which I usually use to do time lapses. This does have an audio in, which is incredible, but it also has a hot shoe here, which will allow you to connect a few different microphones and you won't have to have a cable. So there's a bunch of Sony ones that are my favorite that will work with this. Audio in, so key. So it does have USB-C, HDMI out, and you can also monitor audio with headphones right there. Me and Jenna were joking with this little windscreen on. It looks like a little clown camera. But so far, this camera is great. I've been really enjoying it. It's definitely not as high quality as the A7S III, but for the price, you're getting a pretty solid vlog camera that you can do everything that you would need to do. So now, I'm gonna fly my drone. I'm having a snack so that while I'm filming, I don't get hungry. Jenna's gonna be driving, and I'm gonna chase her with the FPV drone. These are really good, by the way. I also love that this has product showcase. Like, watch how fast this focuses. Are you product showcasing your snack? Yeah, product showcase. These are so good. Me, the snack. Okay. Time fly. Remember when I came out to the desert to do cool FPV drone shots of the Bronco and forgot the cable and the controller? Yeah, I remember. I'm still living it. <laughs> One of the things that I wanted to test out with this is putting on the XLR hot shoe. Now, the one that I'm using right now is what we use for all of our shoots. It's great because not only can we attach a little wireless receiver here so I can be wirelessly transmitting to the microphone, but I can also just throw on a shotgun mic as well, which we don't have attached here, but you can. Now I wanna do some lens tests. This is the ZV-1. So this is kind of sort of a comparison, but the thing with this is it is basically just a point and shoot camera and you don't have the ability to change these lenses. But with this, you can change it, make it look more cinematic, or basically just get any shot you want. Lenses, it's all about the lenses. I have got a bag full of APS-C lenses, and I'm really excited about this because the fact that you can change up these lenses will give you an entirely new look depending upon what you're looking for. This lens right here is the lens that I used to vlog with for years. This lens has been around the world and back again. This is the 10 to 18, and why I love this so much is because it had such a wide angle that no matter where I was, I was always in frame, my subjects were in frame, and it was really great for landscape and travel. This is an 18 to 200. I actually haven't tried this lens yet, so I'm definitely <laughs> excited to try this one out. They've got a 24 millimeter, we have a 18 to 135, and last but not least, we have a 50 mil 1.8. Yeah, this is it. This is the 10 to 18. Like, look at this. Like, this is so wide angle. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm zooming in, I'm zooming out, I'm zooming in, I'm zooming out. It's so good. So this is like kind of like the vlogging length. See? It's nice. It's nice. Zoom in, zoom out. 
So this is the 18 to 200. The best part about this is we can zoom in all the way to 200 millimeters. Okay, so, so this one is an 18 to 135, which is very similar to the 18 to 200, but look at this zoom. Look at that zoom, look at that zoom. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I like this little lens, this is cool. So this is the 24 millimeter 1.8, and we actually don't have any ND filters for these lenses, but we're gonna hold one over top of it so we can actually get this to the 1.8 setting. So right now it's an F8. So this is F1.8 without an ND filter, and Tyler is bringing in our filter. Here we go. How's it look? Oh, that does look really good. Check that out, look at that. Oh, wow. I am shook. Okay, now take off the ND filter and see. Yeah, that's real bright. Guys, <laughs> ND filters are freaking magic. <laughs> wow! So we're gonna do the same thing with this 50 millimeter 1.8. Holding up that ND filter makes such a huge difference. I don't really have many of the APS-C lenses because we do mostly shoot with full frame. So most of the filters that I have are for full frame lenses. So that's why we're having to do this little makeshift operation here, but it's working. So this is the 50 millimeter 1.8. We're doing the same kind of method here, holding up the ND filter. And let's see what it looks like without it. Yeah. No, it's just, there you go, there you go. Look at that bokeh. This lens is incredible, actually. And I love that this is one of the silver ones too, so it kind of matches the white body way better. Wow, this looks good. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. So we have both the ZV-1 right here and the ZV-E-10 right here. Now one of the things that is really cool is the fact that they do have onboard audio and the audio is actually really good. But right now, we're recording with a third camera using that audio so that it is all the same. But I do want to do a little test where you can see what it sounds like with each camera. So first we're testing out the ZV-1 audio. You can hear some car noise in the background but that's kind of, you know, it is what it is. When you're vlogging, you're gonna have these things. But each one of these do have the little wind sock on top of them to protect it from the wind. It is a little windy, so you can see, look, look at this, the hair is moving. We have now switched the audio over to the ZV-E10, and it's gonna be cool to kind of see what these both sound like. I'm just gonna keep talking and saying some things about all of the things. I'm actually using lenses right now to, uh, to prop both of these cameras up, because why not? So there we go. That's our test with both cameras side by side. So far, my first impressions of this camera is it's actually really nice. Now, the thing is, I'm so used to shooting with full frame cameras that are so super high end. So doing comparisons between those types of cameras is really difficult. But so far, I'm very impressed with this. And I think this is really a great camera if you're looking to save money, but also still have that interchangeable lens feature. And with that, you're gonna be able to upgrade your lenses and be able to get some really great shots. I also love that this does have HDMI out. So if you want to use this as a web webcam for streaming or doing things like that. I love everything that Sony has been doing. They've been actually listening to creators and giving us the things that we actually need. So Sony, thank you so much. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you uh, have a good day. I didn't really know how to end the video. So <laughs> wishing you a good day. This is the best that I could come up with. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.